So, not sure what to expect, but Team Short Shank, Mark's not paying attention. Shank. Mark's driving. So, we're up here pre pre fishing for what was supposed to be the MWT tournament, but unfortunately it got canceled. So, we already had the house rented and the girls wanted to come up for the week, so we said, screw it, let's just come up here. So, we're out here searching, just got by the lighthouse. We're out in Escanaba. We don't know what we're doing, where we're going, but we're looking right now. So Mark did get two smaller walleye earlier this week, but again, we're just out here looking around, mapping the bottom, trying to find where the fish are, because next year the tournament's gonna be in the exact same place. So we're trying to do some pre-pre-MWT walleye fishing. So hang on and we'll see what happens. All right, let's put some lines in. I'll show you guys a secret sauce. So the first thing is a little night crawler. Got one of Andy's blades here. Show you how hard this is. So hook the night crawler up. Take a little bit of the lure lipstick crawfish gel formula. Put it on the inside of the blade. Like so, smear it on. Just like that. That there, killer combo. Oh yeah. That'll catch a fish. We're gonna let these out about 30 foot, then we're gonna put the weights on. Super clear water run a little bit farther back. So we're gonna put a two ounce snap weight on. Two ounce. And we're in what, 20, 32 feet of water? All right, so it's zero the counter out. Go down about seventy here. So we hit bottom at forty-five. Yeah, I'll do seventy. No, I'll do fifty-five because this is a two ounce. Good old church board. TX12 mini. We just got set up. We're in about 30 some feet of water. We've got all crawler harnesses on, all Andy's crawler harnesses. We're running inline sinkers, either ounce and a half or two ounces, church boards, track stacks, rod trees. And yeah, we're just trolling in between rock piles, trying to stay close to bottom. Marked a few fish. So yeah, we're really just doing some exploring today. Trying to get the lay of the land. We'll see if we can't put a few fish in the box. Crazy. It's a short drive and a long walk, right? So midday update. Zero fish. Slow. slow. We knew it was going to be slow, but again, we're out here just trying to figure out where the rock piles are, see if we can find any fish. We're going to go check out a shoal. Maybe head back in, come back out this evening. We don't know yet, but... Again, didn't have too high expectations just looking around and see what we can find and try to put a game plan together so this is the fun part of pre-tournament fishing it's just trying to find the dang thing so we'll keep looking we'll let you know if we catch anything
Okay, day number two of pre, pre, pre-fishing. Made it over to Cedar River. Didn't catch anything yesterday, but that's fine because again, we're in exploring mode. So came over to Cedar River. Water is super red. We, did, we think it's because of the ore. I don't know, or what. He's Mark thinks it's the ore probably. Iron ore. iron ore. It's iron ore. You were watching. So beautiful sunrise. We've gone back in time. We're an hour hour back now, I guess. We're so close to the Michigan-Wisconsin border that we decided to go back in time. So yeah, never been over here before. So let's see what happens. Don't expect much, but we'll see. It has just been tough. I mean, we we drove all the way to Wisconsin, across the, across the bay today. Didn't fish, obviously. We don't we didn't have our fishing licenses, but went over and checked it out and found some good areas. A bunch of local guys were out there fishing, but came back into the Michigan side and fished around for probably four or five hours and couldn't get nothing. And we talked to some local guys here at the boat ramp. They didn't catch anything really today. And just from everybody's talking, it's been really really tough, but. Again, we're not over here trying to catch numbers. We're over here just trying to identify some places that we can possibly fish for the MWT. So yeah, I mean, we'll just keep at it. I know this is probably a really pretty boring video, but you know, it is what it is. This is tournament fishing and especially going in an area we've never been before. So it's just, uh, it's a grind, you know? Uh, I'm gonna take tonight off and then we're gonna get up tomorrow morning early and do it again. So hopefully we'll have some better fishing for you guys soon, but stay tuned and appreciate you guys following along with us. Day number three of our pre-pre-tournament fishing. You can see the sun's just starting to uh, crack the skyline. So um, I know we haven't caught any fish in the last two days. This is actually Mark's fifth day out in the water. He caught a couple walleyes with Krista earlier this week. But, um, you know, yes, it would be nice to catch fish, but the, the main reason why we came up here this week since the MWT tournament was canceled is to pre-fish and learn this area, find rock piles, find the weed edges, find the drop-offs. I mean, we can see a lot on, on our graphs, but to get out here and actually put eyes on these spots is, is crucial right now. So we found some really good spots yesterday, went all the way to Green Bay, went all the way to Wisconsin, just looked around, uh, like I mentioned at the end of yesterday's uh, video, or that segment of the video. And today we're gonna stay a little bit closer. We're gonna go fish some of the drop-offs that are right out here in front of Escanaba. We're gonna fish some of the grass lines and just see what we can put together. So. Again, it, it might seem like, man, you guys have been fishing for five days now, haven't caught that many fish, but it's pre-tournament fishing in an area we've never fished before, and this is what it takes. So hang out with us today, and let's see what happens. Northern. Well, as you guys can tell, the boat's covered up. There's a really bad storm coming in. I tried to show you the front line that's rolling in right now, but uh, yeah, we fished hard for three days, four days. Uh, Mark's been up here since Sunday. He's been fishing since Sunday afternoon, and man, super tough, 
tough bite up here in Escanaba this time of year, talking to a bunch of locals. They said the bite's really tough. And once you know, we took the girls out yesterday for just an afternoon trip. And there was a really hard south wind blowing all weekend long or all week long for like maybe three or four days. And we found a point where the water was wrapping around a point from the current, but then the water was getting pushed up against the shelf or this break because of the wind. So yesterday we go across a spot and there's tons of fish down there. And once you know it, we catch two walleye, we lose one walleye, I catch a big northern, a drum, and a giant perch. So I guess moral of the story is bring the girls with you every time you can because they're your good luck charms. But if you've got a hard wind pushing, you know, for a couple days with uh, current coming around breaks, that's the best place to start. So not a lot of fish, fish catches in this video, but again, we came up here to explore. That was the whole reason for this trip because the MWT tournament hopefully is going to be here next year in the same place. So we're going to stay at the same place and we've got a lot of good spots lo located. Got some spots over in Wisconsin we can go check out. So again, it's pre-pre-tournament fishing. Really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Again, my name is Jay Ball with Blue Jays Outdoors. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification button, and also please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is blue underscore jays underscore maple underscore syrup. Thanks again, I really appreciate it. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks.